Hello, in this video, we're going to learn how to find the domain of a function. Let's see, for example, I give you a function f of x equals x squared plus 6x plus 10, say. The question is, find the domain of this function. What does it mean by find the domain of a function is? What are the values of x that when you plug it in, also gives you an answer which is a real number. Now these type of functions are called quadratic functions. And remember the domain for this is always negative infinity to infinity. And if you had to draw this on a number line, it's everything on the number line. So remember for a quadratic function, or polynomial in general, it looks something like this, even if the power is 3, 4, and so on. The domain is always negative infinity to infinity. Let's do some more advanced functions. Okay, now let's see if I give you a function fx equals square root of x plus 3. The question is, find the domain of this function. Now remember, whatever is inside a square root, if I give you a square root function, whatever is inside the square root needs to be bigger than or equal to 0 to find the domain. All you have to do is solve for x. So move this on the other side. x should be bigger than or equal to negative 3. I want to draw this. This is negative 3. And everything bigger than negative 3. We use this bracket because there's an equal to sign there. You write this as close bracket because of the equal to there, negative 3 to infinity. So remember, if you are finding the domain of a square root function, whatever is inside the square root needs to be bigger than or equal to 0. And then you solve for x and you get the domain. Okay, let's do one more which will be a rational function. Say I give you fx equals 1 over x plus 6. The question is, find the domain of this function. Remember, whenever you're doing a rational function, whatever is in the bottom, that cannot be equal to 0. And then all you have to do is solve for x, pull the 6 on the other side. So x cannot be equal to negative 6. If you had to draw this on the number line, at the point negative 6, it would seem that you have a hole here. Everything on the left of it and everything on the right of it is your domain. How do you write this? Say negative infinity to negative 6 unioned with negative 6 to infinity. This means everything except the point negative 6. So remember, if you're doing a rational function like this, whatever is in the bottom cannot be equal to 0. You get your domain. So let's do one more with a mixture of what we've learned so far f of x equals square root x plus 4 over say x minus 3. So if I give you a mixture of a square root function and a rational function, what you have to do is find the domain of the top separately and do the bottom not equal to 0 separately. So let's do the top first. Whatever is inside the root 
needs to be bigger than or equal to zero. So X has to be bigger than or equal to four. So the domain of the top is point negative four. This is the domain of the top. Now the bottom cannot be zero. So you say X minus three cannot be zero. X cannot be three. Means in your domain here, at the point three, you will have a hole. So in order to find the domain, you write from negative four to three, union three to infinity. Remember, if you have a mixture of two things, you find the domain of the top separately, the bottom not equal to zero. Try to draw it on a number line, and then you write your domain. So the domain of this function is negative four to three, union three to infinity. And with the help of these tricks, you can find the domain of any function. Any more questions, you can type in below and I will reply.